Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be actually really fun. I'm actually really excited about today's video. So today I'm going to be trying out a bunch of low rated makeup from Sephora and Ulta, mostly from Ulta, mainly because Ulta has a pretty good rating system that I like a lot. I got this idea from the beautiful and the lovely Rage Loves here on YouTube. She's one of my favorite YouTuber, she's so awesome and so funny and I, I love her channel a lot. That I'll link her channel down below for you guys to check out her videos on this stuff. If you are not already subscribed, I would love to have you a part of my little community? Family, whatever you want to call it. We're pretty chill over here. We enjoy memes. While you're down there, don't forget to hit that bell button so you are notified when I do post. It is Mondays and Fridays. Shout out to me for being consistent. And give this video a huge thumbs up. It helps me out so, 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 so much. Um, and I do appreciate it. So yeah, so without talking too much, let's get on with this testing low rated makeup video. It's gonna be, it's gonna be another, another one of those videos, guys. It's gonna get real messy probably. Okay, so I have my notes here in front of me. I wrote down about a couple weeks ago all these products that I'm going to be talking about today. I have them all in this little bucket right here. Okay, so to prime my face, I have the e.l.f. Cosmetics primer spray, the aqua primer spray. Now, I believe I talked about this in my full face using only e.l.f. Cosmetics products video. I'll link that in the eye up here if you guys are interested in that. And I kind of overlooked this. I kind of was indifferent about it. So this guy right here has three and a half stars. The reviews are um, kind of all over the place. Um, people were saying, don't try it. The spray is not smooth whatsoever. Someone said there's no noticeable difference when they use this. Someone said beyond disappointed. So I'm guessing the overall issue with this is that the spray bottle is horrible. So <laughs> we shall test that today. I'm scared, okay. I'm drenched. Um, so let me try to spray it even further. So they were correct. This spray nozzle on this is like a rocket. Do you see that? And look at my hand, it's like drenched already. Like that's crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pass on this one. Sorry, Elf, I love you, but this spray nozzle is intense. Just an update, it's been a little bit since I sprayed that primer and my face isn't sticky, it doesn't feel primed. It honestly just feels like I sprayed water on my face. Okay, so for foundation, I have the Pure Cosmetics Bare All 12 Hour 4-in-1 Skin Perfecting Foundation. I got sent this in PR and I still have yet to try it. This foundation has three stars. People were saying that it was heavy, pricey, poor value, too greasy. Um, someone said it was difficult to, to apply, and then someone said it doesn't stay on, and th that was based on 292 reviews, and 55% said they would recommend this foundation. To apply this foundation, I'm going to take my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. Speaking of Sigma, I do have a coupon code with Sigma now, It is or a discount code. It is Thomas in all caps, just like my Morphe one. So if you guys are interested in any Sigma brushes or like saving money on Sigma site-wide, I do have a code with them, Thomas in all caps. It saves you money off. Just saying. Let's see. Okay, so this foundation right off the bat is really thick. I have a feeling this is not going to be my shade at all, but that's not Pierre's fault. That's my fault. This is not my shade. Okay, right off the bat, this foundation is really, really thick, and it's kind of hard to blend out with this brush, and it's kind of already looking cakey, so yeah. Okay, immediately I prefer it with a sponge. Still looks kind of gross on the skin. I can definitely agree with people saying that it's hard to apply and then it feels very heavy and greasy. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling this one, guys, sorry. Sorry, Pure, but it's a, it's a no from this community, you know what I mean? Okay, so moving right along to concealer, I have the Bare Minerals Well Rested Face and Eye Brightener Illuminator. Now this was under the concealer category, so I'm using it as a concealer. Now this might just be a brightener and I think that's what it's meant for. So on Ulta.com, people were saying that this doesn't cover well, there's poor coverage, it's pricey and it has a poor value. Um, difficult to apply, people said it was difficult to apply, they did not like the applicator. And then a lot of people said that it settles in creases. And this has over 309 reviews. Oh, oh yeah, that it's one of those, those guys with the, oh yeah, okay. Yeah. 
any day now. What? <gasps> is this a, this is literally a, this is literally a highlighter pen. Why was this under concealer category? What? This is supposed to go under the eyes. This says it's well rested. So it's supposed to go under the eyes. Like this is literally what this product is marketed as. It's marketed as like a concealer to like counteract dark circles. You know what I mean? Girl, I have never been more confused by a product in my life. So I'm guessing what this is literally supposed to be is like a highlighter type pen. I don't have any other concealers to use, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape under my eyes. So I'm gonna try to use this what it's meant for, and I think this is supposed to go over concealer, maybe on the high points. Yeah, no. And it's li it's literally lifting. I am literally at a loss for words, you guys. I, I don't know what the hell just happened. Okay, okay, so moving on to face powder. Hopefully this turns into a better situation. I'm gonna set my face with the Tarte Filtered Light Powder. I kind of already reviewed this and I kind of didn't like it already, but I'm going to set my face and my under eyes with this. So on the Sephora website, this has three stars. People said this has flashback, that is too yellow. People were saying this oxidizes their foundation. Um, that is flashback, ashy on tan skin. Uh, most of these I kind of already agree with, but we're gonna use it just for the sake of today's video. I'm gonna take this powder on a sponge and just set my under eyes. This video is going south. Um, okay, I'm gonna try to use a brush. <coughs> <coughs> what the hell is happening to this video? This, okay, see, so you know what? It really shouldn't be this bad. Like, I'm really not being dramatic. Like, this is disgusting. My face looks so gross. I really don't want this video to be so negative, but there's like not one thing that I've tried so far that I've liked. Definitely pass on this powder, you guys. I agree with everything that the reviews say. This next item I'm actually really surprised is even going to be in this video because I actually kind of love this product. It is the Maybelline Master Chrome Contour Duo. This is in the shade medium. This guy right here has three stars on Ulta.com. People said it was heavy, it has poor coverage, and uh, doesn't stay on. So I don't know what they mean by that, but this isn't the most pigmented thing in the world, but it's not the worst thing in the world. I just, I'm surprised people don't like it. <laughs> Anyways, let's just go on in. I actually really like this contour. I don't see what people, why people hate this. Like it blends so easily. Like it, this product blends like butter. I actually really like this product. It's not the most pigmented thing in the world. Like it's not gonna give you like an extreme intense contour, but I mean with a cream product, you kind of want to have that ability to build up rather than like have it be so crazy in your face, especially if you are a beginner. But like, look at that. Like it's such a beautiful product. I don't know why people don't like this. I really recommend this. If you guys are interested in this, you definitely need to get it because I like it a lot. Okay, so for blush, we have the Too Faced Sweet Peach Papa Don't Peach Blush. This has three and a half stars on Ulta.com. People are saying this doesn't show up and it has no pigment and it just, it's kind of, kind of non-existent on the skin. Um, this has a heavy peach smell, so if you're not into heavy smells, like, you probably wouldn't like this. Again, I think with blush, you don't want something to be, you don't want blush to be too pigmented because um, it can get too crazy too fast. I mean, unless you're down with that clown look. Um, I don't get what people are saying. Yeah, I think this blush is fine. I don't, I don't get what people are saying. I don't know, I think blush is a very personal thing, so maybe that's why a lot of people don't like it. I think it's fine. I don't see a pro issue with the pigment, and you guys can see it on the camera, so. Again, I don't really get this. So next is another Too Faced product. Yes, another Too Faced product. It is the Too Faced Love Light Prismatic Highlighters in Blinded by the Light. This has three and a half stars. A lot of people were saying this was not worth the money. It's patchy, it's not really pigmented. Let me just do a little swatch for you guys. So that's it on my finger. Oh, wait. And that is it on my hand swatched. I'm gonna take my Sigma Strobing Fan F42 brush and I'm just going to get some of this product on here. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't get what people are complaining about. That's really pretty. 
Oh, maybe that's because it's clinging on to the cream product, but I set that down. Yikes. Um. Oh. Okay, I can definitely see why people say it's patchy because it definitely went patchy out of nowhere on me. I'm trying to fix it. It's not looking like it wants to be fixed. Okay, moving on. I definitely agree with the patchy thing. All right, so next I'm gonna get into the eyes. I'm gonna zoom you guys in because I have a primer and two eyeshadow palettes that I wanna talk about. And I also wanna show you my face because you, you, need, you need to see this. Okay, so I just zoomed in a little bit. I don't know if you can see what is happening on my face. Um, it is definitely not pretty. I am not liking any of this. Like, look at that. That is crazy. Contour looks great, though. Yeah, I'm not a fan of what's happening on my face right now. Just, just saying. Okay, so to prime my eyes, I have the uh, Kat Von D Color Correcting Eyeshadow Primer. This has three stars on Sephora and uh, let's see what people are saying about this guy. People said this was disappointing, this was dry and hard to work with, someone said a waste of money, kind of hard to blend out. Cat, what did you do? <laughs> Ooh, what the hell? The cat girl, what, what is this? Baby. Oh no. Oh, see, okay, I'm I'm being a little bit too judgmental. I haven't blended it out yet. I've just put it on. There is no blending that has happened yet. So I'm going to blend that out with my finger. Oh, this is so blending. Ooh. Ooh. Um, so my mic wasn't recording, so sorry about that, but my mic is now recording again. Sorry about that. Um, I hope you didn't mind that horrible, atrocious audio. This eyeshadow primer cat, this is not, ooh. I'm just gonna keep going because I'm, Kat Von D thinks I'm supposed to be priming my eyelids with this, so we're gonna keep going. So for eyeshadow, of course, of course, we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. How could this be a low-rated makeup review type video without our good sis subculture. This is what mine looks like after two uses and I can tell you I do not like this. I put this in my products I regret buying if you guys want to hear a little bit more in depth about why I regret purchasing this and why I don't like it. I'll put it in the eye over here. This has three and a half stars on Sephora I believe. Sephora or Ulta. People are just saying this was hard to blend. Um, it turns gray. It goes ashy, it, there's too much fallout, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, yeah. Sorry, Anastasia, but people not liking this. And I can definitely agree with those reviews. That's definitely one of my reviews. Um, but we're gonna keep going with this anyways. I'm going to set my eyes with a translucent setting powder. I will say this is definitely a fun video to film, so. Is it set? Yep, we're good. We're, we are set and ready for action. All right, so I'm gonna first go in with the shade Roxy with my Morphe M573 brush. Let me just show you the fallout. I'm sure you've all seen this, but you know, let me just show you the fallout that goes on the pan and a lot comes on the brush and then you just knock it off and it's everywhere. Yeah, I'm sure you've all seen that. Too much pigmentation is definitely a problem in my opinion. And you just put too much on at once and it's just like it makes it just a little bit hard to work with especially if you're a beginner in makeup like this can get too crazy too fast and i'm just not a big fan of like that you know what i mean next going into the shade fudge with my sigma e25 blending brush i'm going to deepen up that crease holy you just get so much, pro I barely tapped into the damn palette crease. See, that's, that's just like ridiculous. You know what I mean? Like that's a little bit unnecessary pigment. See, this is where the problem lies. Like you put too much on and then it's just like, you can't blend after that. And then it starts to go all like, like, do you see that? That is a little bit better, but it just looks sloppy and I don't like that. I am not a sloppy bitch, you know what I mean? 
So I actually have another palette that I want to show you guys. It is the Too Faced Glitter Bomb. This has three and a half stars on Ulta or Sephora. This is what it looks like. I have not used this yet. I have swatched it, but I have not used it. So people were saying this has no pigment and it has a lot of fallout. Someone said horrible. There is hardly in any pigmentation at all. Too Faced products just keep disappointing. I will take, I'll be taking this back right away. <laughs> I'm gonna be going in with this white base, which is actually really pigmented. That is a very pigmented white, so congrats on that, Too Faced. I'm gonna take the shade Rose All Day. It's this pretty pink shade, and I'm going to pop that on the lid using the same brush because why not? Ooh. Um. Maybe it needs glitter glue. Maybe glitter glue will help with it, but it is very chunky. Wetting my brush with some Fix Plus. Maybe that will do something. There is glitter everywhere. Hmm. I'm not really a fan of either. I mean, the Too Faced Glitter Palette could work if there's maybe a glitter primer, and I'll definitely try to work with it some more, and I'll definitely let you guys know, but I agree with the reviews on both palettes. I don't have any mascara or lashes for you guys, so I think I'm just gonna leave my eyes like this, because, I mean, why not? This makeup does, does not deserve lashes, in my opinion. It doesn't deserve my time, so... I think I'm gonna leave it on this and go straight to lips, so yeah. So for lips, this is actually a pretty cheap product. I got it on Ulta.com, it was only $1.97. It is the Makeup Revolution London Salvation Velvet Lip Lacquer in the shade The One For All. They only have like, I think four or five lip color shades on their website or on the website, so I don't know if they have more. This has three stars on the Ulta website, and people were saying that this was drying, sticky, clumpy, and that it wears off easily. So uh, we shall put that to the test. This is neon orange! This was nude on the website. I'm not kidding. This looked nude as hell on the website. So first impressions, this is pretty streaky. And every time I try to go and blend out the streakiness, it just gets worse. Ooh, this lipstick is not cute. Do you see? Oh my god. This is neon. This is neon if I've ever seen a neon. Ooh. This bitch ugly. I have no words. I have no words. Ew. Mm. Okay, so maybe this will this up close will give you a little bit better understanding of what I look like right now. I honestly think there was like maybe one product that I used that I liked, which is the Maybelline contour stick right here. Um everything else, I just feel gross. This was a horrible, horrible, like, combination of products. All right, you guys, that is it. That's all I have to show you. Um, if I was to disagree with anything from this list of anything being low rated and I think deserves better ratings, it would be the Too Faced Pop It On Beach Blush and the Maybelline Master Chrome Contour. I think these are great and I actually recommend them. I'm, I'm, I really want to get out of this makeup. So I'm going to leave it there. Let me know in the comment section down below if any of these products were for you and tell me how you use them or if I use something wrong, how I should use it, but be like nice, be constructive, like don't be a, like a jerk about it. Um, and just let me know in the comment section down below some stuff that you think deserves low ratings or whatever. I don't know. Just leave me a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. It helps me out a lot and I really do appreciate it. But yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Yeah.